Hello Pisces, LaTron here, Psychic Love Coach, and this is going to be another love reading for you. Now, for those of you who have been with me for some time, you know that usually I will do the monthly readings. For right now, I'm going to be experimenting with these timeless readings because I also have some things that I'm working on right now to bring to you guys, which I'm really excited about. So whenever you come across this reading, this is when the messages are meant for you. Don't forget to thumbs up and like this reading if the messages resonate. Comment and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning and you have not subscribed yet. And to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychelovecoach.com. You can also find me on Wizio for a video reading. And if you would like to text me your question, you can find me on the free Instant Go app. Those links are in the description box below. And while you're checking out the description box, make sure to check out your free resources as well. All right, Pisces, so let's go ahead and go into your reading now. So I see that there's someone that you've been involved with and this person could have dropped off the face of the earth. Either this person walked away from you, you walked away from this person. There could have just been a break in the communication, all right? We have some ghosting. We also have here some fear or some abandonment issues that can be affecting your relationships. Well, we do have this energy of abandonment. So I'm feeling like you and someone um, just separated for whatever reason. And this could be because of, I see a lot of energy about fears, something because of somebody's ego, because of pride. All right, so this person, whoever this is that you've had this break from, this person has been watching you. This person has been looking at your social media. Maybe they've been checking with your friends about what you've been up to. All right, looking outside your window. No, it's not that bad, but um, we do have somebody that's been watching you, Pisces. All right, we have somebody that's been watching you, that has been looking at you, wondering what you're doing, okay? focusing on you, but this person was not contacting you. This person was not contacting you, even though they were watching, they were just like kind of silently stalking, you know, silently waiting to contact you. And I do see them making a bold move here. We have the card of bold move. So this person is going to make a bold move by coming forward. They can invite you to something. All right. Or they just want to make things happen with you so they come forward. Whereas they were quiet and just being kind of lurky this whole time. Now they're stepping forward and coming to you. So you can expect some kind of communication, some kind of contact, some kind of dealing with this person. All right. They want to make things happen with you. So even though this person is coming back. It looks like the best thing for you to do is really center and meditate about what you want to do with the situation because I really don't see you putting the effort, putting the energy into this person, even though they're coming back. You may decide to entertain them for a little bit and then move away from this person. But I'm feeling like for most of you, you're just not going to give your time and energy. You're just not going to put the effort into this situation. You're still on break mode. You're still going to be on break mode coming up. So this person can come through with a gift. This person can come through talking very, very sweetly and nicely. But you're still in a period of or an energy of separation from this person. You want to take time apart. All right. Because you're looking at the situation a different in a different way than you were originally. So this is a good time to let your intentions be known. What is it that you want in this situation? Let your intentions be known. Be clear with first yourself and if you would like to with this person about your intentions too. I have here an energy of quietness. Which is what's leading me to believe that even when this person comes back, not much is going to come of this situation. <laughs> Excuse me. I have here the energy of secrets. And then I have here your secrets are safe. This card of secret and this sadness and loss card popped out by itself. 
So we have here this energy of ghosting, of quietness. We have this energy of not speaking, of secrets, of loss, of loss. So for you, in your mind, this situation's done and over. You feel like this situation is done and over. And even though this person is coming back, when it comes to a new beginning with this person or when it comes to making things better with this person, it's like you kind of know that there's not a good chance that that's going to happen. You know, you feel like there's not a good chance that's not going to happen. You may feel a little confused as to why this person is returning. This person could be coming back with deception. Okay. But you could be feeling surprised as to why this person is returning to you. But I feel like you really want to go in a new direction and you want things to be better in your love life. You want things to improve. You want to upgrade in your love life. You want things to be better than they were in the past. Because it's like you don't have time for this. You don't have time for somebody's ego to be affecting your relationship with them. That's not the type of relationship that you want, you know? And you know that this person's like that, you know? Because this person has been like that. So, again, I feel like you want improvements. You want things to get better. You want positive changes in your love life past people who pull the wool over your eyes or who may be deceiving or who may not even be in a good mental space. For some of you... There is an addiction here that has affected this connection, whether it be on your behalf or the other person's behalf, and I'm feeling more likely on the other person's behalf, some kind of smoking or drinking here. This can be any substance, but likely some kind of smoking or drinking that has affected this connection, okay? But you're more focused on your mental, spiritual, emotional health. And if you have to let this connection go for that, you're willing to do that because you don't want the confusion, you know, in your life. So this person is trying to come back and spend time, right? And the universe has brought this into you. The universe has brought this into you. And what I even heard was a test. I just heard a test in my inner ear. But it's like the universe also brought this back to you in a way, I'm, I'm feeling like for reflection, for you to look back at the past, even what it is that you want to do and plan moving forward. I have here the card of the universe wants a, has a plan, but this card did come up in the reverse. And it's even as if the universe has a plan for you to not be with this person. Because again, you want to get over the obstacles, the challenges, from the past. You know how this person is. I feel like this person's behavior is repetitive. You know, you know how this person is. And you don't want to repeat those patterns with this person or go through those things again. You know, so you're just being being quiet here. You're just being quiet here. Because again, you want to move forward. You want something better. Okay? You have a new perspective now. So... You are taking your time, taking your space away from this person. Let's go ahead and go into your guidance here. All right, we're going to go into your guidance using my pendulum. So let's see what we got. Oh, before we do that, let's go ahead and go into your Borka card. I almost forgot. A little Borka card. Okay, so this card says... Okay, let's see. We can put that up here. All right. So this card says, take heed. Take heed. So that's a warning. One is always much wiser after the event, but now is your opportunity of being wiser before the event. So it's almost, I'm hearing, you already know better. You already know better and you know not to go back into a situation that is not going to bring you anything or that you feel is not going to bring you anything. So now's your opportunity of being wiser before the event. Present plans require rectifying. Present plans require rectifying. So what are you going to do about this invitation? What are you going to do about this bold move that this person is making towards you? All right? You may have to figure out what is best for you. What do you want to do? 
Do you want to follow in the direction that they are attempting to lead you into? Or do you want to go in your own direction? Meditation will greatly assist and enlighten you. And we do have with this taking a break card, the energy of meditating, the energy of centering and meditating. So if you don't know what to do when it comes to this person, take time and sit in quiet. Take time to sit in quiet and the answers will come up for you. The answers will come up for you. So let's go ahead and look into your guidance, uh, Pisces. Let's go ahead and look into your guidance. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. What are the relationship solutions for Pisces? All right, so Pisces, check yourself and check your partner's willingness level. So how willing are you? How willing is this other person to communicate, to commit, to put in time, to put in effort, to put in energy, and to put in attention? So how willing is this person to put in those things? How willing are they to communicate with you, to commit to you, to put in enough time, energy, effort, and attention, the energy, effort, and attention that you deserve? But also, Pisces, are you willing to put in the time, the energy, the effort, the commitment to this person? So these are things to ask yourself. Pisces, 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 Pisces. What guidance do we have here? All right, let's see, Pisces. All right. So we also have here a loss of sexual desire or some erectile dysfunction. Okay, so um, when this comes to a male, there can be an issue with erectile dysfunction. Um, and this could be either emotional, mental, physical, hormonal, or because of medication. And this can also signify, Pisces, your loss of sexual desire for this person. I feel like you're not really desiring this person as you did at one time because of, you know, emotional reasons, mental, 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 mental reasons, physical, emotional or mental, you know, you're just not attracted to this person. Or they can be attractive, but it's like you don't desire them the way that you did before. Your energy has changed. I feel like whereas before you could have been very excited, now you're. Uh, I feel like you're unenthusiastic. That's kind of the energy that I just that I just heard. Unenthusiastic. What is the next right step for you to take, Pisces? What is the next right step for you to take? So focus right now on the next right step. What is the best thing for you to do moving forward? How can you bring about new beginnings? and positive new beginnings and new improvements how can you bring these things to your life to your love life one you got to clear out the confusion for sure you got to clear out the confusion if somebody confuses you if somebody's confusing you it may be a good idea to fly away from this person leave this person behind go on your own new beginning Explore new lovers who are going to bring something better to your love life. All right, let's see here. So this is for Pisces, Pisces. Okay, let's see. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What guidance do we have for Pisces? Work on your own personal growth, not your own personal growth, not your partner's. So I don't think you're working on your on this person's personal growth. You're not doing that. But this is suggesting to work on your own personal growth. Work on yourself, okay? And continue doing that. Continue doing that, Pisces, because you have been doing that. So continue working on yourself. What are your intentions in love? What are your intentions in love? What do you want for your love life? All right? See, Pisces, 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 Pisces. All right, let's see here. Pisces, okay, Pisces, take responsibility for changing the relationship. Don't blame yourself or your partner. So now it's saying this is time for you to take responsibility when it comes to changing this connection because it's like even though this person's gone they're coming back and this may be somebody who has a, a pattern of doing that of leaving and returning you know these cycles here 
but now it's like what do you want pisces what do you want now it's time for you to set the tone of the relationship or for things to be on your terms that's more what i'm feeling things are now going to be on your terms not the other person's terms because you you're not feeling it even though they're going to come forward you know with this big move or come forward with flowers or come forward with kindness or whatever this is you know you're still like you know what i'm gonna impress like i'm just not feeling it and so now the connection is on your terms okay pisces let's see what else we got all right pisces again there's some there's some addiction going on here so if you know this is not you then this person can have this going on um in the background or going on and maybe this is something that you don't know about maybe you do but we do have um an addiction that is affecting this connection I don't know, maybe this person is drunk and drunk dials you or something after they've been looking at your pictures for weeks. <laughs> okay, Pisces, these are the messages that I have for you. I'm so sorry for that shake. Pisces, these are the messages that I have for you. Go ahead and thumbs up and like this reading. If the messages resonate, comment. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. Subscribe to my channel if you are returning. Also, if you would like to book a private reading with me, visit my website, mypsychiclovecoach.com. You can also find other ways to get in touch with me through the description box below. Sending you so much love, so much light, and luck in this situation. And check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign videos as well, Pisces. Love you guys. Bye.